and we are gonna learn today how to set up your profile for your users so this is a blank app so here if I see my tabs I only see a profile tab which is pointing to my profiles tab in my Google sheet now if I go over to my Google Sheet, I only have one tab, so it's named Profiles, and I have three columns. And the headers are name, email, and image. That's it. So first thing I do is I click these three, the sandwich menu here, click this icon. Let me go back here. I'll do it again. I'm going to lay out the view. Okay. And then user. So I'll do this again. I click the sandwich menu, click this icon, and here for the source. So we want the source for the profile, for the user profiles to be the profile sheet. In this case, it's pretty easy and glad I'll renew that because I only have one tab in my Google Sheet. But then when you have a bunch of tabs, just make sure that source is pointing to the your profiles tab. And then match these data to the right column. So name, it's pointing to the name column. Email is pointing to the email column and image is pointing to the image column. Right now, since all the data is empty, the, those rows are empty, Glide thinks that these columns are all text columns, right? Eventually, these will change to the add sign and the image will change to the an image icon here because now Glide will identify that I am adding emails in this column and images in this column. Right now, since it uh, it's empty, Glide doesn't know that. So then we click close. The second thing we want to set up when we are setting up profiles is we want the detailed view instead of the list view because I want users to only be able to see their own profile and edit their own profile. So I don't want a list, I don't want tiles, I don't want cards. I just want the detailed view because I want the user only to see his or her row where we have their picture, their name, their email, and then we'll keep adding up stuff to that profile. So I click details and then on features, I want to make sure that we have these couple settings. So we're going to filter, add a filter where email is signing user. Right now we cannot select it because Glide doesn't know that the email column is emails. So let's add some data here. So I'm going to add my own name, email, and I, I won't upload an image yet. I go back to Glide, I refresh my sheet. I'm going to delete this, and I'll go to my data editor. So it hasn't loaded anything but now you see okay so now it converted this column to an email column I go back to my layout so I'm on my my only tab layout details features I will add a filter for when email is signed in user that way I can only see my own row and I also want users to be able to edit their own profiles. So I am allowing users to edit. So I click this checkbox and I want to set a condition also because I don't want users editing someone else's profile. So I add a condition here for when email is signing user. So we have the same settings here, both on features. So on features, I am filtering everybody out. That is the me. I don't edit, I can only edit my own profile. So right now, even though I have data on my Google Sheet, I'm not seeing anything here because my layout is empty. I don't have any components. So let's add a couple of components. So let's add three components. We have name, email, and image, okay? So I'll click a text component here. Let's make it style, let's make it headline, align it to the center, and this is pointing to name, 
Name, right, I know why, because I have my other email. There we go. Now I will add another text component, will, which will be pointing to my email. And then I'm going to add an image that is pointing to the image column and I want to show the whole image, so I'll pick one to one and style maybe insert detected, right? So I have three components here, my profile picture, my name and my email. What I don't have is an image yet, so my image column is empty. So I want that when users edit their profile, they add their own. However, I don't want users editing their email because that's the whole, that's the most important feature of your whole app. The email is what makes each user that user. So it's like the unique identifier for that user. It's the email. So even though here on the layout view, the user can see their email, when they click edit to the profile, they cannot edit their email. I don't want users editing their email, correct? So users, then we have Glide already added these couple components. So we have a text entry component for me to edit my name. And then it added an image picker, which is what we need for me to upload my picture, my profile picture. So now, and let me go back quickly. The image picker it is pointing to the image column. So that's where we, where Glide will put my image in my image column, right? So I have my, like my own personal row and then my name is in the name column, my email in the email column, and then we'll have my image in the image column. So let me upload a picture here. Um, let's choose this avatar. So as soon as it uploads, then I click done. Then if I go back to my layout view, I see my own picture, my name, and my email. Now, what happens if I am signed in as another user? So let me try my personal email. So I'm not seeing anything because I'm not signed in. I don't have a row. So let's create a new row for this other guy. So this is Jesus. Actually, let's leave his email empty. And let's ju just add my other email. I go back. I refresh and then I am signed in as my personal email, okay? So I can, Glide found that even though Glide is this tab, remember this tab is pointing to my profile tab in my Google Sheet. So Glide found several rows, but I have a feature here, a filter, where it's filtering everybody else that's not this my own email. And then I can edit my own. So now I can edit my own profile, right? So I'm gonna click edit here, and then Asus personal, and then I will add my profile picture as well. Now we have couple different users, each can see their own uh, profile. Now let's add a couple other things to the profile. First, maybe you want to show information. So when the user, let's add a third user here. Asus.org, let's add a glide. Okay, so now we have a third user here. So I will log in as if I were him. Okay, so even though I have three components here, the only component that's showing is my email because that's the only thing that's in my row, okay? So now I want to add some visibility components and text components, so some text components with visibility conditions. So we'll create a better experience for when the user is creating their profile. So let's add here a component 
it will be a text component and I don't want to point these component anywhere to my sheet so I'll make this a custom and then I can add my, my own data here so in this case we'll make it a welcome text welcome to my app please fill out your profile by clicking the pencil on the top right and then I'm going to center this and I'm going to make this as large as possible okay so I want to show this text I'm going to put this on top I want to show this show this text to new users so if I log in as any of my other two emails I don't want this text to appear because I have already filled out my profile so we can set a visibility condition for this welcome text so let's change it here so I click this text component and features I'm gonna add a visibility condition so it will only show when my name is empty right so when a new user logs into your app he doesn't have a name yet the only thing we have from him is his email because you probably have your app as public with email so glide already sent that email value to this sheet remember we did that here on the with this icon that's the only thing we have so we know that this guy from glide is coming into my app so I have this welcome uh, message will only appear when my name is empty so now if I go and edit my profile so what we want to do now is make sure that when that user fills out his profile he fills out his name otherwise if he leaves his uh, name empty then this text will keep coming up right so I'm going to edit and I'm gonna make my name a required item so unless I fill out my name that's the only way I can go to the next step and finish my profile if I don't fill out my name then I'm not done so let's call this guy Tony and then I can click done so let's not even well, let's not upload the profile picture here as well so I click done and then this component here is no longer showing because my name is not empty now we can do something cool which is create a personalized welcome message for that user so for that let's go to my data editor in glide and i will create a template column so what a, what a template column does it mixes either different values from your sheet or text and values that you have in your sheet so let's name this welcome text the column type will be a template column and then hello name please I don't know welcome no thanks for thanks for creating your profile and then I am going to replace this string of text for his name so this will point to the name column so what we are doing here so now we have a hello Jesus hello Jesus hello Tony right so we have a text here and then we are replacing this name between these uh, I don't know what they're called for this column for the name column okay so now we are mixing like generic text and their name so we have now this personalized welcome text so now we have that column here on our profile sheet but it's not showing anywhere in the app yet so now let's add it so let's add a component it will be a text component and it's pointing light already did that to the template column that we just created the welcome text let's make it headline 2 size and center this 
and let's put it right below the image, right below the name. here. Now let's delete the name. We don't have, we need the name anymore because we have it here. Okay, so that's how, like the most basic tutorial of how to create your profiles and jump between users. So now if I go back to my personal email, I have hello Jesus personal, thank you for creating your profile. And if I go to my business email, uh, it's showing up my picture, my name and my welcome message. Uh, I hope this helps. Uh, send me an email if you have questions and uh, you can copy this template here, I'll leave this uh, template link below and you can copy this to your Glide account and play around with this so you can set up your own profiles in your app. I hope this helps.